Hey guys, what's up? It's Vampire Bride. A while back in a video I mentioned that there was a reason that I had not yet bought a Nintendo Switch, but that that was a subject for another video. Well, this is that video. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> On gaming news when the Wii U was released. But as soon as I knew enough about it, I had to have one. I did wait for the price to drop, but I knew that I really wanted one. So why the hesitation with getting a Nintendo Switch? The Nintendo Switch has been out since March of 2017, so I've had plenty of time to get one. But I have three reasons why I have yet to get a Nintendo Switch. Number one is that I really enjoy my Wii U, and the release of the Switch really seemed to devalue the Wii U. Upon news of the Switch, Nintendo seemed to throw away, so to speak, the Wii U. The Wii U console didn't do as well as Nintendo had hoped due to lack of advertising and the fact that many people didn't realize the Wii U was its own console, but thought it to be just an addition to the Wii console. These things led to a less than satisfactory launch of the Wii U. The Wii U was discontinued in November of 2016, only four years after its launch. To give you a comparison here, the Wii console was released in 2006 and discontinued about seven years later after the Wii U's release. The Wii U was discontinued almost a year before the Switch was even released, in anticipation of the Switch console. Not only that, but when the Switch was released, many of the Wii U-only titles were moved over to the Switch, again devaluing the Wii U, and making it to where there's not much reason for people to want to go out and buy a Wii U, being that they can buy the newer console and still get all of the games. I still wanted to take my time and enjoy the Wii U before replacing it with the Switch. Reason number two that I waited to get a Switch is that upon launch there were many issues with the Switch console, as there are with many consoles. Some of the initial issues include scratching the screen when taking it out of the docking station. This was one of the biggest, most talked about issues with the Switch. It sounds like a small issue, but who wants their brand new game tablet to be scratched up when they're just taking it out of the docking station that is supposed to be used for charging it? Another issue was people were having trouble unpairing the left Joy-Con. This was another one of the most talked about and biggest issues with the Switch at launch. Some other issues include cracks in the top of the case, warping of the Switch tablet, dead pixels, and a low battery life. Since the release, Nintendo has been working to fix many of these issues. So I would prefer to sit back and wait for a lot of these issues to be fixed or even for the price to drop before I hop onto the Switch train. Recently, I have been considering going ahead and getting a Switch. I'd still have my Wii U, though it wouldn't get as much use with a Switch around. By now, many of the initial issues have been fixed by Nintendo or have been fixed by other members of the Nintendo community. So, is it time to finally get a Switch? I was greatly considering it when I read that Nintendo was coming out with a tweaked version of the Switch. The Switch Lite is coming out in December of 2019, but that is not the version that I am talking about. I'm referring to the new Switch, is what it's being called for now, as there's not an official name for it as of yet. So far, most of it is rumors, and there isn't a lot of actual information. But this beefed up version of the CPU is said to have more power and enhanced features targeted at avid gamers. A lot of it is still rumors and there is no release date, but it would be nice to get this tweaked version of the Switch. There are also rumors of a Switch Pro, but that's really all it is as of yet, 
rumors. And if it is to be a real thing, it will be no time soon. But I'd rather sit back for a few months or a year and wait for this higher powered version of the Switch than I would to go ahead and buy one now just to want to spend more money in a few months or whenever the new Switch comes out. Though getting a Switch has been very tempting, sometimes waiting it out for the issues to be fixed can be a better option. I definitely still plan on getting one, I don't want to miss out on the experience altogether. But for now I will wait it out and see what becomes of the rumors of the upcoming Switch releases. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos to come.